What do you think is this machine? This looks like an old sewing machine, but actually it is an antique foot pedal powered scroll saw. Okay, this is the very nice cast iron arm. In one side, we can read the name of the manufacturer. This is the system that keeps the blade moving perfectly vertical up and down. In the bottom part, it receives the energy from the pedal and the flywheel through a system with a crank and a connecting rod. We can see it here to the left, while in sewing machines we normally see it there to the right. And the foot power pedal moves this flywheel. The beautiful shape of the pedal is striking, and I think it is called a squire's foot. I suppose it refers to the medieval footwear that the squires used. When we move the pedal, it moves the flywheel, like sewing machines. It has a smaller ring on the outside with the slot to accommodate the leather cord that works as a machine belt. But in this case, the flywheel is bigger and heavier. This is the leather cord. Both ends are joined with some wire. The leather cord fits into a groove on this small wheel. This small wheel moves, thanks to this axis, that other wheel that works as a crank. That smaller wheel, the crank, has an eccentric pin, and we can see a connecting rod attached to that pin. Here we can see better the brand of the manufacturer of this pedal scroll saw. Then I am going to screw the cast iron arc in place. I put the bronze nut, but I don't tighten it. And now we see again how beautiful this antique woodworking machine is. Now I will prepare the wooden top. Here I screw this small piece. It has a small pin. Now I turn this, and this piece goes here, with the pin right under the metallic plate. Now I screw the guide that helps to inclinate the wooden top. I will use it with one of these blades for modern scroll saws. These blades have a small pin in both ends. But I could remove those pins. And let's see how the system works. It is very easy to clamp both ends of the blade. Then, when we move the pedal, it moves the flywheel. And thanks to the belt, transmit the energy to the crank and to the connecting rod, which moves the cutting blade clamp in a reciprocating up and down motion. Let's continue. This pin goes into this hole in the cast iron arc.
and this metallic piece goes under the wooden board. It fits around the pin that I put under the metallic plate. I screw it to the metal frame of the scroll saw. Now I slide down this rod. I think it serves to prevent the workpiece from bouncing. I pass the cutting blade through that hole and I clamp one end below the tabletop. I clamp the other end above the tabletop And this, in addition to avoid bouncing, it seems that it also holds the cutting blade laterally, protecting it from breaking if I make a bad turn when cutting the wood. Also, as a curiosity, here we see that plate that fits in that slot. This prevents this rod from turning. Very important, because the blade clamping system is in the end of this rod. We can see the same below the tabletop. And finally, let's give a try to this scroll saw. It takes some effort to turn the pedal, but it cuts the wood and it makes a nice cut. And now I have a problem. This scroll saw is very nice as is, but restored it would be impressive. But if I restore it, I know I wouldn't use it again. Not too much. So what should I do? Thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, remember to subscribe to my channel and to click the bell to get all the notifications when I upload a new video.